What is going on, everybody? Casual Crypto here with a quick crash course on Avalanche ecosystem. Welcome, everybody. If you're new here, remember to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and take the little bell notification icon because we're always going over new projects and new opportunities to grow your crypto stack. So today we're going to be talking about Avalanche and how to get onto the Avalanche ecosystem and what opportunities there are. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar, Avalanche is another chain in the crypto space. And recently, they just announced providing $180 million for DeFi incentives such as Aave and Curve. This is massive news, especially if you want to get in on DeFi opportunities the same way how a lot of people made it big in the ETH network. Uh, a year from now, a year ago, and also people who made it big getting in on Binance Smart Chain back when it was new. Here's a chance of getting on, on something very new with a lot of liquidity and money right here. And you can see that um, projects like <laughs> Curve, Ave, and also Banky will be receiving some of this $180 million handout that they'll be passing on over to users who use the platform. So if you are not familiar with this, we've seen this in the past. We've seen projects on the Polygon network, right? Matic, right? When they rewarded people on Aave, just simply by borrowing. If you were borrowing money on Aave back on uh, when this reward was announced, uh, you would be making money just by lending and borrowing. And there were people who were like getting paid to take out a loan on Matic and that's insane. And if you look at like the price of Matic, like look at the price of Matic Polygon, back when this announcement was made, when they first announced the forty million dollars that they put out for for lenders and borrowers, the price of Matic was at around here, forty something cents. 40 something cents and then um shortly after it started taking off started pumping all the way to the highest point right at all-time high of about like two dollar fifth almost 250 right and we could see something similar with avalanche even if we get like half as big as of a pump that's still a pretty impressive pump we, we were expecting of course uh, i'm saying this not as a financial advisor but more as a guy on the internet as a hodler and maybe even a degen ape right who's aping into different projects and this is an exciting opportunity i think i'm going to get to and and more exciting thing is um compared to what polygon is offering avalanche is offering 180 million dollars so this is going to be a lot more money that's going to be in this space there's going to be a lot of people who want to get in on this and i'm going to be showing you guys how to get started and it's not as easy as just setting up a new MetaMask account. There's a lot more steps to it. And to get started, you have to understand how Avalanche is different from the ETH network. Avalanche, for starters, they have multiple chains. They have an exchange chain. They have a contract chain, right? And then uh, you want to interact with MetaMask, right? Either you get MetaMask loaded on a contract chain or you just get uh your avalanche wallet to send crypto from your contract chain to your metamask accounts so you have to set up these accounts because exchanges like binance they won't send it directly to metamask they will only send it to an exchange chain address on avalanche so you have to set up all of these it's a bit of work but once you set it up it shouldn't be too hard for you to get around in the space so now for starters uh, you have to set up an avalanche wallet and you can go about setting that up on wallet.avex.network so this is the website and when you come here you'll see that uh they say you can access a wallet or you can create a new wallet for your case you don't have a wallet so you have to create a new wallet right you have to generate a key phrase and then uh and then uh once you generate key phrase uh, uh they you have to write down everything. I don't recommend put saving on a computer. You should just write it down on a piece of paper or maybe have like a notebook just for crypto stuff. Write it all down and then they'll quiz you. Once you get it right, then 
like then they'll send you over to your wallet page which i have right here so when you get to the wallet page you notice how you have um x p and c right here these are three different chains on the avalanche network x stands for exchange chain so whenever you want to get money from an exchange the exchange will only send to your x wallet i guess uh this adds an extra layer of security um because anybody who has like uh money stolen from a project like they have to go on exchange chain and it may take time uh for it to process but um i i'm yeah you have to look in more into the whole project about the different chains and the use cases but for our case we're more interested in getting the money onto our metamask so that we can start interacting with the uh, different platforms so yeah so you can see right this is your ex your ex exchange chain right and also your exchange wallet right so when you're sending money from binance you have to send it to here once you have money sent from the exchange here you go to cross chain and this is where you switch you send your money between your wallets right so you go from your exchange wallet and then you can send it over to your smart contract wallet right so it's a contract chain right and then you put in the amount and the nice thing about avalanche is the the fees aren't really that crazy here uh with avalanche currently at about like 35 dollars you go with uh, 0 0.002 right that's about like seven yeah 0 0.002 not yeah that's around like seven cents per transaction right there so it's significantly cheaper than some of the other networks out there and especially with what we're seeing with uh, these incentive it's a steal so you send it over once you send it over right you have to set up your metamask wallet and this is where you have to go to support.avax.network and here it will show you all the parameters on what do you need to set up on your metamask if you don't have a metamask you can always go to metamask.io right metamask.io and then you can download metamask from the chrome store so it's pretty straightforward uh pretty straightforward like you select chrome and then uh, it'll send you to the Chrome store right here. So make sure you read it uh, here, chrome.google.com. You see the lock right here. You see that there's a lot of people using it. And you, then you can download it from here. So once you have it, I'm going to take you to the next step right here. Um, moving here, make sure you have this set up. Or, or if you want to be, if you want to be efficient, you can also just you can also set this up as two separate window, which makes it a lot easier to work with. So you could, you set up two separate windows right here. Um, I'd love to do use this trick instead because it gives me the ability to just copy and paste. So you open up your MetaMask, and then uh, you copy each of these. You copy each of these uh, parameters by right over. So. MetaMask uh, wants to ask me whether I want to connect with another chain. Uh, that's not the case. For our case, we're going to do a custom network right here. We're going to copy all the parameters over. Copy everything over. Chain ID. Oops. Sometimes uh, make sure you check everything because sometimes autofill does uh, put in the wrong information. So let's do a Vex chain ID oops, 43114 AVEX and then you copy block explorer right here. And then when you have all those copy over, you check, check it once again. If everything looks fine, you do that. And that's how you get onto the that's how you get onto uh, the Avalanche network. So you can see that now I am on the Avalanche network right here. I am. And we can uh, go back to our, go back to our uh, temporary wallet or, or at least um, the Avalanche uh, cross wallet, right? So once 
we come back here, um, assuming that your transaction, your cross-chain transaction has completed, you have everything in your C wallet, your contract wallet, you can actually send right your coins directly to your MetaMask wallet. It's pretty straightforward. You can get it right there. And once you get everything on board, right, you can start interacting. You can start going to websites like Banky and start participating in their yield farming and their DeFi opportunities. You can start uh, right now. I don't think uh, Ave or <laughs> Curve are on Avalanche at the moment, but once they are, you can start getting on as well too but for now the biggest opportunity right now is uh banky right now where they are offering check this out like 31 percent apy right just by borrowing like if you're borrowing usdt they'll pay you 31 percent right of course they say that this is um supposed to be 41 percent they pay you minus 10 percent for uh, the USDT, but you can sell your key token, your key, which you can sell it to pay back your loan or pay back uh, the interest, right? And then everything else is pure profit. And you have some people who are like, who are like supplying, right? They're making the earning interest just by supplying. So you have AVAX token, you can stake your AVAX token here, where you, where you get a uh, one percent apex apy and then they give you 9.5 percent interest right of the key token and saving for all these right so yeah so it comes down to your your it eventually comes down to your risk tolerance level if you're risk averse just stick with supplying assets and that's about it you don't have to like borrow anything but some people are known to take out a loan against their their uh, supply collateral and as a result uh they do run the risk that if uh crypto does become volatile they may lose everything but this is a risk you have to take uh you have to be aware of and i'm not a financial advisor so do your own research and find out what works for you so uh this is it guys uh just a quick overview on how to get started onto the avalanche ecosystem I'm pretty excited, pretty stoked about where Avalanche is headed. I'm going to be keeping an eye out and I'll be sharing you uh, in future videos what I'm doing and how to get involved with other DeFi projects. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you are watching this for the first time, remember to hit that like button, hit subscribe and take the little bell notification icon so that you can get updates of how our rec fund ends up being so yeah thanks for watching everybody um i'll see you guys in the next video peace and love my friends and god bless